happy Friday. Back when I did my real estate videos about buying our own property, I promised that I was going to do a video on like real estate tips and tricks and hacks that are going to help you both in Costa Rica and in Panama. Probably other Latin American countries as well, but I don't have experience searching for real estate there, so I don't even try to speak to things that I have zero experience on. Okay, so basically today's video is going to be from my laptop. All right, so grab a pen and paper, take some notes. Uh, anytime we use a link, I'll link it in the description so you can go back and bookmark it. And I promise you, these are things that you probably have never even thought about that will make your real estate search much more productive. All right, so let's go so through some of these websites that Brian and I used when we were searching for real estate. These are sites that we used for about two to three years straight, constantly watching the real estate market in both Costa Rica, Costa Rica mainly actually, and Panama. So we're gonna start with four of kind of the all encompassing sites. These are sites where you're gonna find a large number of listings, uh, you know, compared to the individual realtor sites. Remember, you do not have an MLS in either of these countries. So there is no central database of all of the real estate that is available in an area. It just isn't, which means that it's a lot more work on your part to make sure that you're finding everything that is out there and getting a good price. All right, so let's start with a good old standby Craigslist, which a lot of especially uh, US people are familiar with. You can see that mine is set to Los Angeles here. There is a Craigslist for Costa Rica and Panama and many of the other um, Latin American countries. To find it, you need to scroll down here on the right side to where it says CL Worldwide. Click that and then you're gonna go to the Americas and then that's where you're gonna see everything listed here. Um, so here's what I will tell you. Costa Rica tends to use Craigslist much more than Panama. I am assuming that this is because there are a lot more, what I think there are probably a lot more expats in Costa Rica. And I think that the more expats you have in an area that they're going to use platforms that they're more familiar with. So if we click on Costa Rica, you're gonna see that obviously it's gonna be all in Spanish, but if you come right up here, you can see you can click this in English right here. Okay, so now we're in English. We can click on real estate for sale and you see that we have 1,235 listings in Costa Rica, so that's pretty good. Now, what we found was that there was a large mix of both real estate agents and owners listing in Costa Rica. Uh, you can obviously go up here and kind of search your general area. For example, we were looking, and I haven't done this in, in months, but we were looking in the Punta Uva area. Um, so see, there's nothing in there right now, but let me put in uh, Puerto Viejo. Because again, we were focusing on the Caribbean side. Um, so you see there's a few listings here. Um, you know, you just kind of have to go through and see what you can find. I mean, just for me doing a quick glance on this, I see that there's a lot of very overpriced stuff <laughs> right there. Um, so again, where there are larger expat communities, I've found that you're going to find more listings on Craigslist for that particular area. Puerto Viejo, that Caribbean side of Costa Rica is not a huge expat community. So you don't find as much, but I did find some stuff listed by owners in Costa Rica that were at extremely good deals. I mean, extremely good deals. And I was even able to negotiate with those people down even more. Uh, so it is something you wanna look at. Um, now, so we had 1200 and some odd listings there. Let's go back and now let's go click onto Panama and you'll see what I'm talking about. When we go to the real estate for sale here, 186. So what is that 15% or something um, of the listings? So, you know, again, just kind of go through and just get an idea of what's on the market. Um, that's your job right now. 
finding what is on the market in the areas that you are interested in. And obviously you, you kind of can get that down to the areas you're interested in by, you know, putting in the, the town or whatever it is in the search bar right here, right? Because this is just showing everything in Panama. So Craigslist, there's one option. Okay, so next up, I'm going to show you what is kind of the Craigslist for uh, Costa Rica and Panama in Cuentra24.com. So if you look over here on the side, there's the country list for Encuentra. Let me get rid of this. Um, and, and you can see that it's primarily uh, Central America, uh, a little bit of South America and a Puerto Rico thrown in there as well. Um, here you can go into Spanish or English from here. Uh, I'm going to choose Panama. Now I, I used this site a little bit in Costa Rica, uh, not as much, uh, not, not too terribly much. Um, mainly in Panama and the time that we used it mainly in Panama was when we were looking specifically at an area called Cerro Azul. Um, during COVID and we were not sure if we wanted to take on a big project like the property that we ended up purchasing, we did consider let's just buy something closer to Panama City, make our lives easier, turn key, bing, bang, boom, but something with wildlife um, and Cerro Azul kind of uh, checked those those boxes for us and we found quite a bit for sale on Encuentra24.com. In fact, the vast majority of properties we found in Cerro Azul were on Encuentra uh, versus trying to go to all the individual real estate sites. Now, when you are searching and, and see, you can see there's 362 um, just in the Cerro Azul area. Most of these are going to be real estate. Uh, okay, and, and so you can kind of sort them over here by the subcategory so we can get rid of these things and then just leave ourselves with the real estate. All right, this thing is not perfect. I'll just tell you right now, this thing is not perfect. But what you do want to do when you're searching on Encuentra, and even if you're using it for trying to buy items and things like that, is go to the sort most recent first. When you're trying to buy items, uh, when you get down into things that have been listed for six months, look, they're gone. Uh, but when you get into real estate, it could be interesting. So we see that when we sort by most recent first that we've had something that was just uploaded for Cerro Azul eight minutes ago. And then one before that was four hours ago. So we're seeing the stuff that's being posted, you know, in real time and the stuff that is obviously available right now. But where it gets really interesting is that if you want to get down into these deeper uh, ads that have been posted for a long time, that's where you might find some really interesting deals. Um, so if we post oldest first, okay, obviously three years, probably not there anymore. Um, but if you kind of get down into like these 10 months ago kind of things, you might find some really good deals. You might find that you can get on here and see that something has been on the market for at least 10 months and be able to do some negotiations. So use all of that information to your advantage. All right, so that's in Quintra. Uh, the next one I'm going to go to is Vivian, and this is an international property listing primarily for owners. And we did find some very interesting stuff, both in Costa Rica and in Panama in here that are listed directly by the owners. So I can come over here um, on this side and I see that Costa Rica real estate is here and Panama real estate is here. I'm gonna click on Panama because we're a Panama channel. See that we have 141 properties listed on Vivian. And again, the vast majority of these are gonna be directly by owners. So you can kind of scroll through, you can do a little search um, sort down to get to whatever area it is specifically that you want. Um, so here's like Bocas, here's Boquete, um, and do some searching. So let's let's just go click on one. Let me get to Bocas since I'm more familiar with that. All right, so we click onto here and we see that there is something here on, uh, on Bastimentos. All right, and it gives us some picture, gives us some information, gives us some contact information. What it doesn't tell us is how long it's been on the prop, on the market. We'll get to that later. All right, so Vivian, good place to look, especially for owner-owned stuff. All right, the last one we're gonna go to is Point Two Homes. 
And this is another site that lists a lot of real estate, both in Costa Rica and Panama. Um, mine defaults to the United States, which means I have to get myself to the Panama or Costa Rica sites. If I scroll all the way down here, um, it says 0.2 markets and it lists Costa Rica because there's a lot of Costa Rica homes. Uh, so you can click onto that. I found a lot of stuff on 0.2 in Costa Rica. I did not use it so much for Panama, uh, but you can go through and see again, this is going to be mainly agents, okay, uh, that are listing on here. So you just scroll through and figure out what it is that you're looking for, right? Um, the Then if you need to get to Panama, it gets a little trickier. They don't give you like a really good way to get to Panama. Let me see if they will from here. Nope. This just gives you, yeah. Oh, I remember this now. This just kind of gives you like the provinces. So the general areas of Costa Rica. So when I needed to get to point two in Panama, what I would do is go to point, point two homes, Panama. See, it's right there. Uh, put that in my search and then directly access it from there. And what you're going to want to do is bookmark all of this stuff because you're going to be looking at it fairly often, right? So we see can, that there's 1,146 homes for sale in Panama on point two. So again, mainly real estate agents, might be an owner here or there, um, but kind of ish, a uh, an MLS of sorts as you have multiple real estate agents posting their listings on here. Okay, so those are our four big all encompassings. Then we're going to look, and, and once you narrow it down, you're going to want to just search for your area. Let's say it's Bocas. So you want to put in Bocas del Toro real estate and then find all of those individual real estate sites that pop up. Okay. All the individual companies like the Century 21s and the, and the mom and pop kind of owned real estate companies. And again, bookmark those, put those in your list so you can access them easily. For Bocas, I think maybe, you know, I don't have them anymore, but I think I had bookmarked probably six different real estate sites in Bocas. Uh, so I could easily go on there and, and see what was going on. It also really helped in my research. Um, even if I wasn't going to use that agent, just researching to see what is on the market, what the pricing is, that sort of thing. All right, so we're gonna move out of this into the next section. Okay, this next little hack that I'm about to show you is invaluable. All right, one thing that you are going to encounter a lot in Costa Rica and Panama is that because there is no MLS and there is no centralized real estate database, that multiple agents list the same home. All right, well, that's not that big of a problem unless every agent has a completely different price. So how do you know that you're getting a price that is a fair price and a price that is not being hyper inflated over what the owner is actually willing to take? We're going to look at that. And I'm going to use an example of a home that I tell you what, if we were to buy in Costa Rica, this is the house we would buy. I recommend you look at it, like no joke, if you're considering Costa Rica on the Caribbean side. Um, it is an ocean view home with seven plus acres in Cuita. Um, and we love that area. We just absolutely do. This ticked almost all of our boxes uh, until we realized that Costa Rica just did not fit our needs. So I'm going to, we found it on uh, point two homes. Now I'm going to tell you this, when we started looking at this house, like, oh boy, when did we start looking at this house? Maybe a year and a half ago or something like that. Um, it was about 450. It has dropped $200,000 in that amount of time. Okay. Which kills me because if Costa Rica was right for us and I had the money, I would buy this place. Okay, so I look at the description here and I'm not gonna read the whole thing. But what you wanna do when you're trying to see if you can find this same home on other real estate agents' sites, you wanna find something unique in the listing description because I'm gonna tell you something. The vast majority of these real estate agents are super lazy and they are copying and pasting the same listing description, 
with just a few changes. So if you can find something that is unique in there, I mean, obviously trying to, you know, oh, two bedroom, three bath home. Okay, that's not going to get you anywhere. But when you read this ad, you see that the home's most unique feature, besides the awesome views, is its four square meter atrium with double waterfalls that cascade into the pond below. Okay, that is something that really sets this home apart from the vast majority of other homes. So what you can do is highlight that right here in point two homes, right click, and if you're in Google browser, you can click search Google for that. All right, so we're searching Google and that's gonna open us up a new tab and it's going to come up with everything that's on here. Okay, so here's the, the, um, the point two homes that we were just on for that, but then we see here is another one. This uh, amazing ocean view retreat from Secret View Real Estates. All right, so let's click on this. Same home. Sometimes you get a little bit different pictures, which is good too, because you can get a better idea of what's going on. Um, look at the price. Almost $100,000 more. $95,000 more than on the other website. So you see what I'm talking about? It's this same exact house with basically the same exact listing. Okay. All the information. But if I contact this agent, I'm going to automatically have a starting negotiating value of $95,000 less than if I start with this agent. So this agent, if I can if I tell him, oh, well, gee, that's $350,000. Uh, how about I offer 300? I'm still $45,000 over the starting negotiating price on this website. So do you see how you have to be really careful with that? I mean, some properties don't have, you know, atriums with double waterfalls in them. So that makes it a little bit more difficult to search, but you've got to dig. This is your money dig. All right. Really. And, and especially in Costa Rica, we found ev pretty much every property we wanted listed on multiple sites. I will also tell you that doing a lot of digging that this, I found the owner, the direct owner of this property. They had listed it on a Facebook group themselves. So see, if you can get directly to that owner, you're going to have an even better chance of negotiating a great price. I will also tell you that when I purchased my property, I was able to get in touch with the owner and I was in touch with the owner, but I really liked my real estate agent and that's who brought the property to me. So I am a very like honest and loyal person. I'm not going to circumvent that real estate agent that brought that property to me just because I found the owner. But if you find the property online, you have not even con contacted an agent yet. And you're able to sit there and do like a day's worth of research and figure out who the owner is. I'm not saying it's easy because it's not. And we couldn't for all the properties. But if you can do that, you can save yourself tens of thousands of dollars because you're not having to pay real estate commission. And remember, most of these real estate agents in these countries are just middlemen. You're going to have to do your actual transaction through an attorney. It's not like in the United States. Okay, so if you can find the direct owner, perfecto. But little tricks like that are going to help save you quite a bit of money, but you're going to have to put the time into it, all right? And, and really, really look, especially in Costa Rica, we were able to find properties that had been listed by like six or seven real estate agents with wide ranging prices, all right? So keep an eye on that. Uh, you can get screwed really fast or you can get a good deal really fast. All right, let's move to the next topic. Okay, this next little hack is one of my favorite like super sneaky spy hacks for trying to figure out days on the market. So when we have an MLS, we can easily look like even on like Zillow or something, right? We can go in and we can see what the days on the market are. And why do we care what the days on the market are? Well, it gives us some information. For example, um, if we're looking at a property that has just been listed like in the last week, Chances are that that owner is not going to take a low ball offer, all right? They just listed their home. They're waiting to see what offers might come in. 
However, because the case in Costa Rica and Panama is that many houses have been on the market for years, then you have more negotiating power because there's a good chance that these owners just want to dump this place. So like I had told you, this house in Cuita that we had been looking at, which I mean, it, it, it really is a stunning home. Um, like, uh, yeah, like <laughs> I would so get this house. Um, look at that. I mean, it's just, it's really cool. Has ocean views and everything. So, um, if that house has been on the market for years and that owner needs to get rid of it, that puts you in a position of being able to possibly negotiate a really good price. Because like I said, this house, when I first started looking at it about a year and a half ago, was about $450, maybe even up to five. It might have been $499. I can't remember. But um, this guy has it for $350. And remember the last site we looked at, it's already down to $255. It's been on a while. Well, how do we figure out how long it's been on? There are two little tricks I have. And neither of them work 100% of the time. But when they work, they work good. Find, the, find your property on the real estate site. Right click and go to view page source. And you're probably like, oh my God. Okay. But calm down. It's okay. What you're wanting to do is scroll through here and start finding dates. Okay. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's not easy. And sometimes those dates are not on there. Again, this is you doing your due diligence to try to save yourself some money. So if you want to put the time and effort in, this is how to do it. Now, when I look on here, I see immediately, I see some dates here. It's some upload dates. All right. Um, so I'm going to highlight that entire URL code here, right click it and let's go to it and see what happens. <gasps> Look what it is. It's a picture upload. So that's telling me that this real estate site, no matter how many times they've changed their price or changed the description, that they uploaded this picture on October 4th, 2018. All right. So we're talking about what, two and almost a half years ago this property has been on the market a long time that puts you in the driver's seat especially now that you have the information that this guy's and again don't do this for every single site that you can find that property on that you're interested in because it doesn't matter what their price is you're just trying to find days on the market right um, if I go back over here to, oh, did I get rid of it? No, here's point two homes. So if I do the same thing for the same property on point two homes, now remember this is the one with the cheaper price and I start looking through here and see, this is a more sophisticated website than an individual realtor's website. So it's probably going to be harder to find something. Um, here's where I start seeing some of this stuff. And yeah, I'm not seeing a date in this one. Yeah, I'm not seeing a date in this one. All right, so, but it doesn't matter because now we know that this house has been on the market for at least two and a half years. That gives us amazing negotiating power. Okay, this next super secret spy agent hack is one of my favorites for trying to figure out days on the market. It really is something that is so simple and 99.9999999% of you have probably never even heard of it. So it's a really fun one for trying to figure out days on the market to help you with your negotiations. So I just chose a property here that's in that Puerto Viejo area of Costa Rica. It's a tropical bungalow. Looks pretty cool. They want 150000 bucks for it. All right. So how many days has it been on the market? Has it been on the market a week? Has it been on the market a year? How do we know? Well, we'll never know by looking at a real estate agent site. I can promise you that. So what we can do is go up here to the URL bar uh, where the actual uh, URL address for this, this property's specific web page is, highlight it, and copy it. All right, so now we have it copied. And now we're going to go to another website, uh, the Wayback Machine. It's like a time machine for the internet. And what it does is it takes you back and will show you screenshots that were on that page at some point in the past. 
it does not archive for all websites and all web pages, which is why it doesn't work 100% of the time. All right, so we get here and we paste it in and then we click our browse history here. All right, and when we do that, we get this little timeline. Now, this is not going to tell us when the main website, Caribbe, uh, Caribbe, I'm not gonna say it, caribesurrealestate.com uh, was archived, but this exact web page. So the first time the Wayback Machine crawled through and the very first time they found that web page, they will archive it if they crawled it. So look at this timeline. We see, it wasn't crawled at all in 2020, which is kind of interesting. But we see that it has been crawled as far back as 2018. Well, that's where we want to go back. We want to go back and see when was it. Look at this. It started on June 3rd, 2018. That was the first crawl date. So it was obviously posted before that. But what this is automatically telling us is that we are almost three years at least of this property being on the market. So you probably have a fairly eager seller at that point, which is going to allow your negotiations to be a little bit better on your pricing. And when we click this, we can go down and get a calendar and we get these little colored dots every time they archived it. So like if we go into here, we can hit on June 3rd and we can click this. I mean, it tells you like the exact time even that it archived it. And when we do that, all right, so it pulls it up. Um, and so we see that this is what this listing looked like. Now look, on this one, it's showing the price as the same. But there have been many times where I have been able to see price reductions, like where this property maybe started out at 300,000 and then it's down to 150. And so it's giving you a good idea of maybe how desperate that seller is to get rid of that property. So the Wayback Machine is a really fun way to just kind of go in and get some more information about these properties than you would be if you just looked at the real estate agent site. Plus, like if like it works for anything. So if you want to go back and like sometimes I have old websites that I used to have a long time ago for my business and I just kind of want to go back and see what they look like, I can type them in. It's fun. All right. So those are our real estate tips, tricks, hacks, all of those different things. I hope you found something in there that helps you out on your journey. Look, finding real estate in Panama and Costa Rica can be a very frustrating process because it's nothing like it is in the United States. We don't have the MLS here. We can't look up comps here. We don't know how many days something was on the market. It's difficult trying to figure out what price you should offer, but hopefully some of these things will give you some ideas. And as always, if you want a excellent real estate agent that will help you through this journey and be honest with you, which is super important, and walk you through this whole process and that you can trust the things that they're saying to you, I highly recommend Lazar and Carmen at RootsRealEstatePanama.com. Again, I'll link those guys below. That's who we bought our property through and we could not be happier. All right, so hopefully all of these things helped you out and I'll see you next Friday.